Right, so in this video, we're going to be seeing real life dating horror stories from a hinge. These are a bunch of online dating horror stories that people have actually gone through. We're going to be seeing some of the horror stories in real life. So let's go ahead and check it out. But before we do, I want to give a special shout out to Miami Kimblo for commenting in one of my videos. Proceeds to have a friendly conversation while ruthlessly beating him. Shout out to you, Miami Kimblo. And if you guys want a shout out as well, just comment down below and I'm sure to give you guys a shout out in my next video. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Why would she send this? Let's check it out. Let's see why would she send this? What is happening here? <laughs> Don't know why she'd send that. It is. She's probably either trolling or um, she's definitely uh, a, a funny gal, I'd say. But she's probably just trying to break the ice in some way or some form. She's probably just trolling. But um. I just follow up with the question like, okay, why, what's up with that? I, I don't know, but um, that, that is pretty interesting to send, I'd say. All right, moving on. Both a long and short term commitment. Okay, have you heard of Lover's Leap? Can't say I have. It's this cliff where lovers go to hold hands and jump off to their deaths. Oh, hell of a commitment for a first date, but why not? Okay, I, I see the vision. I see the vision. And um, I, I don't think I'd probably want to do that if, if I were you, but you do you, man. <laughs> like, that's that's definitely very interesting. But yeah, anyways, uh, moving on. We got we got a love story, sorry. Met my fiance on Hinged. Hinge, sorry, I said Hinge. Hinge engaged three months later. I always hated the idea of dating apps and there are plenty of negative experiences to go around for everyone. So I figured I would share a success story. I, a 34 year old male, met my fiance, a 27 year old female on Hinge back in April. I was on a layover in my hotel back in April and received a message from a girl. I was completely blown away by. We hit it off instantly and talked nonstop for the next two weeks as I was living in Florida. After my trip was done, I loaded my belongings and my dog and drove non-stop 24 hours back to Rhode Island. We couldn't wait and met, th met that night despite no sleep. I was seriously, it was seriously love at first sight and I never believed in that before. Three weeks later, we, we got an apartment and moved in together and we both knew we were ready for each other. Both of our parents love us together. It has felt like we've been, we have been apart for, of each other's life for years. Proposed in July with a wedding in August. Times are tough out there, but if you know what you're looking for, don't settle. Don't put up with half-ass behavior and wait for what you really want. You will find it. To be honest, that sounds like a real-life love story, like a real-life rom-com. So I'm very happy for you guys, and congratulations to um, the happy couple, of course. And it's very rare to find that in uh, 2024 dating. So major shout-out to you guys, and I hope you guys have a, a good time dating and, and, and marriage life stuff, I think. <laughs> All right, question about the app. I don't care. <laughs> Met the love of my life on Hinge. We're getting a lot of happy stories here today. 25 year old female, 24 year old male. His profile is exactly what I was looking for and I sent him a rose. We had our first date and connected instantly. We are in love and it's going very well. We've had our first weekend away together. We met each other's friends and families. I've never felt like this before in my life. Perfect person in the perfect place at the perfect time. I'm beyond happy. I didn't believe in love at first sight until now. Just sharing my happiness to give some hope to anyone who hasn't found that person yet. Be yourself and the rest will follow. Best of luck. Well, thank you. I mean, this is this is great. This is good stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see more happy stories coming out on Hinge or Reddit. Because usually these are meant for the, uh, the horror stories. But um, this is very nice. I, I'm, I'm super happy. After a pretty tra traumatic bumble date, a maid told me I should try Hinge. Thoughts on what? Me, I don't know you though. Ha ha ha. From what you see, ha ha. I don't know. Cute, I guess. Thank you. That's nice of you. You're welcome. What are you up to? Would you like to ask me what I think of you first, eh? But fuck all. Ha ha. You? Ha. Okay. What do you think of me? You've got pretty nice. <laughs> I just know this guy wanted to say that to her so badly like he asked the question to begin with i just i just know it for a fact it's guy psychology right there it's it's funny though it's funny it's funny bro has negative risk that's that, that is true in my opinion you don't need riz you just need to be yourself to be fair though he was honest at least he was honest i, I don't know how she looked but i'm assuming he might have been honest so i fair play you know fair play what went wrong fellow dash alum i see what year did he graduate 
I was in the class of 2017 while you were you 2018 so you beat me by a year definitely it's for sure a competition and that's exactly how it works you know it I rarely see dash some people on your usually send by you in Colombia also you of Delaware for some reason it's on, honestly kind of rare to see dash people it seems odd I feel like there, there is there should be a bigger presence in the city yeah you go on LinkedIn and it shows the most alumni are Philly and New York so definitely should be more people i have a good linkedin search lol i'm on it more than i should be have you been in the city since graduation no i lived at home for my first year then for four years have been in the city like the past year how about you i was in med school in for four years and then you since then what brought you to the city grad school have you enjoyed moving to the city yeah I definitely have i actually have a pretty nice studio apartment in decent locations i have two chill roommates Two roommates in a studio might be a tight squeeze. Yeah, but we have each other's rooms. I think I misuse it. Misuse the term studio. I think you may have lol. But I'll overlook it. Ha ha ha. If you want, I can give you a tour of it. Ah, we might be a few steps ahead of ourselves there. I guess the logical next question is what are you looking for on Hinge? Ha sorry. I got a little carried away long term relationship. We did leave a bit of an opening for it in the conversation. It wasn't completely out of nowhere. Okay, at least she's nice about it, I'd say, you know? How about we get dinner date first, dinner first, and then see what happens later. I find that much more reasonable proposal when you're free. So until Sunday, I'm on call. Dash, so it's free with the ass. I, I don't know what that means. Next week, I'm free Monday to Thursday. Then work the weekend. You might manage to strike at a relatively bad schedule. Up is not too much of a red flag. No, it's not a red flag. I get with work, people can be busy. I have the luxury of being a student, so I have more free time. Maybe we could plan something on Sunday. Sunday is the last day for non call, so it's an ass fix, but I'm definitely, as long as they're comfortable, but as long as they're cool, I do have some ideas. I won't be tired. I don't have shifts. Usually schedule, understood, not trying to be pushy or anything, but as long as sounds like a plan, what time are you thinking? Okay, they're going to meet up at a bar. Okay. Honestly, if it's Sunday, anytime past five works for me, how about you? I'd rather go later. You should take that as a big compliment that I will go while the Chiefs are playing. Usually, unusually, a very dedicated fan. Usually, doll, I'm flattered. Definitely take it as a compliment. I personally, don't really follow football though. How are the Chiefs doing this year? They are undefeated team. Uh, did you go in person? No, I don't go. Nice. I'm not really a sports guy. If you get my drift, like I'll watch the Super. Bowl. That's about. I'm not taking interest. Oh, oh, bro, like, oh. I feel like I messed up here. Did I say something? Yeah, I think I know where he went wrong. Now, I'm, I'm not a Riz master, but I'd say I, I'm, I'm actually not a Riz master at all. But based on this conversation, right, I'd definitely say that he didn't ask enough questions about her. She was asking more questions about him. Didn't reciprocate. Does he happen about himself? And additionally, the one thing she really likes, he said, like, I'm not a big fan of that. Guys, come on, come on, be better, do better. Let's see what the comments say. I'm pretty sure they would agree with me, but I'm curious to see what they say. Yeah, telling, you know, telling them you'll give her two open apartments and 95% no. Way too much communication. That is true. Anyways, moving on. That was a big conversation, by the way. We did not need to see the whole thing. Hey, miss, you from Mississippi? Because I will sip this. What? The actual. Oh. Okay, we're not helping ourselves here. We are absolutely not helping ourselves here at all by any means. I apologize to this female who had to go through this, but that is outrageous. That's actually pretty crazy. That is weird, man. This is what we call a hinge weirdo. That is crazy. Stardust. That we are, in essence, made of stardust. And space is a vacuum. Does, does that mean we are stuck inside a Dyson? Ah, that is terrible. Red flag? Question mark. So be myself. Got it. No, I want more. I want you crazily obsessed with me. Not for my own self-interest. For me to like you more. You should already be. You should already like me. And just be as obsessive. I know. I know. I'm just informing you if you want me. I'll like you, Lord. Gotcha. If it feels one-sided, though, I will lose interest and not put out that energy. That sucks. Why would I be obsessive with someone who doesn't like me the same? I don't think you don't have to worry about that. I don't have too many goals. Yeah, that's a bit weird, man. Like that is that is probably a red flag. I'd I'd just post them or air them on block block them so um yeah about the mission dude about the mission that's enough online dating for today i was hospitalized for meth addiction a little while back lol oh shit i'm sorry so can't piss or not shit or card 
bit I'm confused. Is that what I think you're talking about? <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. Am I coming on too strong with floating or and wanting to be a goal? Yeah, coming on too strong. Unsend a message. Unsend a message. Do you want me to quick texting you? I can't read any of my messages. Me, I need to read that email. This is too much for me. Okay, I understand. I like to kind of talking down to pull back and give you space if you need. I know you're busy with your project. I hope every, everything goes well. Just hit me up if, when you feel comfortable. I won't bug you. Good night. I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't need the constant messages. I took you off snap. I don't want to have to block your number. It's a whole situation. I don't want a relationship. I told that yesterday. I don't have the time to message all the time. I don't care about Snapchat. You're good. Hope your weekend goes well. Let me know when you want to chill. He really wants to chill with him. Hey, I'm sorry to text you, but I'm headed to the hospital. I was crushing up resident pills and approved up. Burn to my nose. I'm really worried. Today's not a good day. Sorry, wrong post. Boss. Yeah, you're not helping yourself, man. You are not helping us at all. Just, just let it, let it be. Let it be. Let, let him go. Right? Don't be weird. Right? Wait, they texted for three months. That is crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. This is how you treated me after we connected and talked for three months. All together, we were sleeping together and he took me on dates and told me he was in interested in being in a relationship. Oh. Okay, that makes sense then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Better ones always come along. Moving on. Mamma mia, I hate pasta. Okay. You won't go sit here just in jail. Hey, this is a hint from jail. So I was in jail. Lol. So couldn't reply. Sorry. That is crazy. Even if you wasn't in jail, that's a crazy excuse to give someone if you don't want to just talk to them or something. That That's actually outrageous. But yeah, guys, leave a comment down below which one you thought was the most outrageous. Leave a like, subscribe.